One of the primary goals of reef keeping is to be able to successfully grow healthy corals in our tank. But sometimes the axiom proves to be true that even too much of a good thing isn't necessarily good or something along those lines. And that is what I find myself dealing with. I have a bad case of runaway discosoma mushroom and zoanthid paleothoa growth. This is how I'm dealing with the problem. Being two corals that are not that easy to just remove, I'm forced to take an extreme approach to removal. In this instance, I'm using a reciprocating saw in order to carve out zoas that I plan to use later for store credit at one of my LFSs. While the discosoma mushrooms, I honestly just want them gone. In fact, if I never have another mushroom in my tank again, that will be perfectly fine with me. One thing that I would advise anyone that decides to employ this method is to be very mindful of the saw blade that you use. I would suggest using either a diamond coated blade or a blade meant to cut masonry. I say this because the blade I use was well worn down by the time I finished. As a result, I had to thoroughly scrub the rock after, after I finished cutting with a non-metallic brush in order to ensure that there was no or were no residual pieces of metal on or in the rock. I even went so far as to use some poly filter in order to remove any residual metal from the water just in case I missed something. In the end, I was left with rock that was mostly free of invasive corals with plenty of room to mount more of the corals that I actually do want to grow like crazy. Maybe this method will work for you. Maybe it's a little too extreme, but either way, it is one option for getting rid of nuisance corals. Well, that was just a brief tip of how you can get rid of out of control corals. And if you stayed with me up to this point, I do sincerely thank you. As always, I ask that if this is your first time here, please consider hitting the subscribe button, giving a like, or even leaving a comment. My name is Ed. Thanks for watching and take care.